Okay, two chest x-rays are in front of us once again. The one on your left hand side is normal and the one on your right hand side shows a pathology. While looking at a chest x-ray, one of the many parts of the thoracic anatomy that you need to pay attention to is trachea. On a normal chest x-ray, trachea appears as a radio loose scent column which is reasonably uniform in size from top of the image down to the level of sixth thoracic vertebra at the level of carina where it divides into right and left main bronchi slight deviation towards the right side is normal and is because aortic arch pushes it slightly any more deviation than what you see here should warn you about the presence of a pathology there are many conditions that can cause tracheal deviation if you notice tracheal deviation on an x-ray try to determine if it has been pushed or pulled by a pathology anything that increases pressure or volume in one hemithorax will push the trachea and mediastinum away from that side any disease which causes volume loss in one hemithorax will pull the trachea over towards that side. You'll frequently see tracheal deviation in cases of low bar or whole lung collapses. In case of fibrosis for, uh, fibrosis, for example, presence of a large mass will also push trachea away from the midline. And there are many more conditions which will push or pull trachea. Looking at the x-ray on your right hand side, you should take no more than a few seconds to determine that there is a marked deviation of trachea towards the right side even the carina even the carina is pushed too far to the right side next question should be why chest x-ray also shows a large mass in the superior mediastinum which is the actual reason of tracheal displacement note that the trachea is not uniform in size anymore and also note that the anatomy is quite distorted in this particular case thoracic aorta is also very prominent here and some of you might argue that right lung volume is also decreased you cannot see right cardiophrenic angle very clearly on this x-ray most probable cause of such appearance in superior mediastinum is a retro sternal goiter in this particular patient the findings have been confirmed via ct scan a goiter is an enlarged thyroid gland a retrosternal or substernal goiter as it is sometimes known as occurs when the thyroid grows downwards from the neck into the chest note that the retrosternal goiter does not always push trachea to the right side trachea can be pushed to any side and depending upon the size of the goiter it does not always distort anatomy to such extent thank you very much